But he's sitting there on the stool in the patent office in 1905 and writes three papers that totally transform science. And if you're thinking about being misunderstood or unappreciated, in 1906, he's still a third-class patent. In 1907, he's still a... It takes until 1909 before people realize that this notion of the theory of relativity might be correct and it might upend all of Newtonian physics. How is it possible for three of the greatest papers in the history of science to be written in one year by this one person? Is there some insights, wisdoms you draw? Plus, he had a day job as a patent examiner. And there's really three papers, but there's also an addendum, because once you figure out quantum theory and then you figure out relativity, and you're understanding Maxwell's equations and the speed of light. Uh, he does a little addendum. That's the most famous equation in all of physics, which is E equals MC squared. So it's a pretty good year. <laughs> it partly starts because he's a visual thinker, and I think it was helpful that he was at the patent office rather than being the acolyte of uh, some professor at the academy where he was supposed to follow the rules. And so at the patent office, they're doing devices to synchronize clocks because the Swiss have just gone on standard time zones. And Swiss people, as you know, tend to be rather, you know, Swiss. They care if it strikes the hour in Basel. It should do the same and burn at the exact instant. So you have to send a light signal between two distant clocks. And he's visualizing what's it look like to ride alongside a light beam. He says, well, if you catch up with it, if you go almost as fast, it'll look stationary. But Maxwell's equations don't allow for that. And he said, it was making my palms sweat that I was so worried. And so he finally figures out, because he's looking at these devices to synchronize clocks, that if you're traveling really, really fast, what looks synchronous to you or synchronized to you is different than for somebody traveling really fast in the other direction. Yes. And he makes the mental leap that time, uh, that the speed of light's always constant, but time is relative depending on your state of motion. So it was that type of out-of-the-box thinking, those leaps that made 1905 his miracle year. 